Welcome to China Truths. In this episode, we will bring you the following story. China's state security ministry expands its power. Now, let's dive into the details. It's all covered in today's China Truths. China's state security ministry expands its power. Under the leadership of Xi Jinping's trusted ally, Chinesin, the Ministry of State Security, MSS, in China has seen its powers extend far beyond its traditional intelligence domain, increasingly involving itself in the country's economy, foreign relations, and even cultural security threats. Recently, the MSS has been vocal about financial security under the guise of safeguarding the state's stability, raising alarms among experts who warn that political interference will only destabilize the financial markets further. The expanded authority of the MSS is a sign of Beijing's growing internal crises and instability at the highest levels of leadership. On November 13, 2024, the MSS published an article on its official WeChat account, declaring that financial security equals national security. The article highlighted the importance of finance throughout history and reiterated Xi Jinping's so-called holistic national security outlook. The article cited Article 20 of China's national security law, which gives the MSS a mandate to intervene in financial matters, strengthen macroprudential management and mechanisms for preventing and resolving financial risks, enhance the construction of financial infrastructure and capabilities, prevent and mitigate systemic and regional financial risks, and guard against external financial impacts. The article concluded with Xi's statement about the importance of financial regulations, emphasizing, if the financial system fails, resulting in a financial crisis, economic development will be severely affected, and the modernization process may be delayed or even interrupted. This push for financial security comes at a time when China's economy is struggling, foreign capital is fleeing, and the government's repeated efforts to stabilize the market have had limited success. David Huang, a U.S.-based economist, said that the MSS's focus on financial stability is driven by two primary goals, one, to prevent capital flight that could destabilize financial markets, and two, to guard against any market forces that could threaten the CCP's grip on power. Statistics show that foreign businesses withdrew $8.1 billion from China in Q3 of 2024, a clear indication of investor pessimism. Huang believes that the MSS's intervention will also target private capital and shadow banking risks, which are often harder to monitor and more prone to moving capital out of the country or into gray areas. This could result in the MSS forcing private capital into more controlled sectors, such as government-backed infrastructure projects or state-owned enterprise bonds. The MSS is not only regulating financial behaviors but also cracking down on public criticism of the economic situation. Huang noted that this is aimed at ensuring political correctness in the market, rather than promoting economic rationality. The rise of the MSS's power is not without internal friction. Experts argue that its increasing prominence has caused dissatisfaction in other government sectors, especially in finance. Wang He, a China affairs expert, said that the MSS's encroachment into finance is changing the established balance of power. The financial sector has long been dominated by elites, and the MSS's involvement is seen as an attempt to disrupt this order, which will likely lead to infighting among powerful factions, such as the Ministry of Public Security, the Securities Regulatory Commission, and the Financial Stability and Development Committee. Huang adds that Beijing's anti-corruption efforts in the financial sector have long been associated with consolidating Xi Jinping's control over the economy. The number of high-ranking financial officials being investigated has risen steadily in recent years, and this crackdown could trigger a new wave of purges, particularly targeting financial executives and private capital. The growing control of the MSS over financial matters could further exacerbate the challenges faced by China's private sector. Huang suggests that the private sector's share of loans has dropped to a historic low, and the MSS's intervention could result in stricter capital restrictions for private companies, especially regarding overseas listings and foreign investments. This could push private businesses to the brink of extinction or lead to their nationalization under government control. Chen Yisen, the current minister of the MSS, is a longtime ally of Xi Jinping, 
having served as the Secretary of the Central Political and Legal Affairs Commission before taking over the MSS in late 2022. His appointment and the increasing visibility of the MSS signal that she is prioritizing security over economic growth. Since Xi's power consolidation began, Beijing has intensified its crackdown on foreign consulting firms, detaining employees, and conducting surprise inspections. After the new anti-espionage law took effect on July 1, 2023, the government launched a campaign to root out alleged spies, further increasing the MSS's role in various sectors of governance. Analysts warned that the MSS's growing influence could lead to serious political consequences for Beijing. Huang believes that the expanding role of the MSS will destabilize the internal power structure, further erode the authority of departments traditionally responsible for financial oversight, such as the Central Bank, the Securities Regulatory Commission, and the National Development and Reform Commission, NDRC. The politicalization of financial decision-making could result in an increase in non-market risks, weakening China's economic stability in the long term. Wang Yi cautions that when a government places too much power in the hands of security services, it is often a sign of looming crisis. He compares the current situation to Mao Zedong's era when the Ministry of State Security, under Kang Sheng, became too powerful and led to major political turmoil. After Deng Xiaoping's reforms, the MSS was kept out of domestic politics, but under Xi Jinping, the MSS has been brought to the forefront as part of a broader effort to centralize power and suppress dissent. Huang notes that as the MSS gains more control, economic policymaking may increasingly depend on political considerations rather than economic expertise. The long-term consequences could include a vicious cycle of capital flight, declining market confidence, and greater instability, which would weaken China's economic foundation. The increased prominence of the MSS is a troubling signal for China's future. By allowing the Ministry of State Security to exert influence over finance, Xi Jinping may be opening a new front in Beijing's internal struggles. If the MSS's power continues to grow, it could set the stage for further political instability, with far-reaching consequences for both China's economy and its political system.